Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Sunny and today in this video, I'll be showing you one issue which generally comes during cloning of a project or any other git command if you try to run. And you might see that uh, sometimes it asks for a username and password. And when you enter the username and password, it generally gives you an error which says that support for password authentication was removed on August 13, 2021. That means you cannot directly use your password for authentication. Rather, you have to use your personal access token. And for that, they have provided this document which you can go through, but I'll quickly show you how you can fix this issue. So for that, you need to go to your GitHub and under GitHub, you have to go to your settings options. And under settings, if you scroll at the bottom, you will see developer settings and here you just need to create a personal access token for yourself so again here you will see two options fine grain tokens and tokens which is classic so generally we use classic one and for fine grain you have more features where you can have more restrictions for the token but for now we'll be using tokens classic and here you see generate new token drop down here you just need to click on generate new token classic and you get an option like this where you need to enter some name for your token i can say token just and then you can select the expiry for now i'll be selecting just one day expiration but in your case you might want to select expiration for a longer duration and you can also have option to select no expiration but it is always better to have some expiration so that your token remains safe and you can keep changing it in a regular interval for now i'll just do it custom i'll just take a date uh, for tomorrow so i'll just select tomorrow's date and under scopes you can define the scopes for which you want to use this token for so i'll generally use all of this so basically using this token i would like to perform all these operations so you just for the simple simplicity you can have this all checkbox marked in case you want to have some more fine grain control you can just read through the description and you can try to understand if that is required in your case or not otherwise you can simply generate for whatever options you want okay so i just do generate access token and you see a token generated here now in this case you just need to copy it somewhere because you won't be able to access it again so it's always better to copy this at some place so that you can reuse it. Now I'll go to my terminal and here I'll just try to do the cloning again. I'll provide my username and then I'll simply paste the token. And if I hit enter, now you see this project got cloned successfully. So I hope this is clear. This is a very simple issue which we can resolve just by generating one personal access token. So I hope I am able to provide some value through this video. In case you like this video, please hit the like button. And also in case you find any issue, you can comment down. I'll try to resolve that and uh, do share this video with your friends. And if you're someone who is new to this channel, I would recommend you to browse through my channel so that you can find more valuable contents. So that's all about this video. See you in the next one. Bye.